All right, thank you, Alice. The Salvation Army's Bed and Bread program provides about 1.3 million meals every year to the people of Detroit. And that number is only growing due to inflation and also those rising grocery prices. Kim DeGiulio shows us how they plan to produce even more meals for those in need thanks to a much needed kitchen renovation. The Salvation Army Detroit Harbor Light Community closed its doors about nine months ago. Now they were still able to provide meals for the needy in their Southfield location, but in the meantime, this place was getting a complete renovation. The Salvation Army brought out the big scissors for the official opening of the Detroit Harbor Light Community Kitchen in Detroit's core city neighborhood. Our old kitchen was small. We had volunteers, you know, literally shoulder to shoulder in a very tight, confined place. But now after these renovations, this space is fully equipped to prepare thousands of meals every day for the people in Detroit. Uh, we're going to serve about 3,500 meals today. Executive Director of the Great Lakes Harbor Light System, Jamie Winkler, says that's how many meals are prepared every day in this kitchen that eventually go out on the bed and bread trucks, making stops through different neighborhoods. Every single day, uh, no matter what the weather is, no matter if there's a pandemic, uh, we never stop. The new kitchen also brings better equipment, like this high-tech potato peeler. And we can just produce mass quantities of, of peeled potatoes very, very quickly. Lieutenant Colonel John Turner says with equipment like this, it gives the chefs more opportunity to provide warm, more nutritious meals. That has been the dream to actually have better nutrition and, and uh, a variety of meals that we could go out. So it's really a meal, not just a sandwich and a, and, and some, uh, some, a snack and, and a drink. In addition to being able to serve more people here in this kitchen, great meals like jambalaya, cornbread, chicken, ham, the Salvation Army hopes that more people will volunteer here. This is a big space where up to 20 people from teams or groups can donate their time. If you're interested in volunteer opportunities, I've posted that information on our website at clickondetroit.com. In Detroit, I'm Kim DeGiulio, Local 4.